Welcome back, everybody, to RimWorld. Thank you for the advice in yesterday's comment section, by the way. Some of it has actually been very helpful. Uh, one of you said that apparently mortars are affected by the shooting skill, but it's so, so, so incredibly minor that it's not much point. You're better just to keep your worst combat character, whoever's got the lowest shooting skill, lowest menace skill, whatever, just keep those guys on the mortar instead because it influences it such a small amount that it's not even worth sacrificing the shooting power that Rib would have provided otherwise. Obviously, she being our best shooter there, she would have put down a lot more firepower on the ground rather than being right back up to that mortar as well. There's a lot to do today. There's actually a lot to do. So we've we've obviously got the uh, prosthetic leg is almost finished. We're carrying another upgrades there. Yoko has a new arm, so it should be a bit more effective as well. I want to get this base finished because it's such a mess. We've got kind of the half-finished throne room still, the half-finished living room there, but we've got a load of cotton just about to come in too. So actually, we could just go and harvest that all now. Ah, it's only four more percent. What's four more percent, really? So we should be able to get this room finished for today. Lavish meals are still going. I need to stay on top of the hunting. That's one thing I always generally do tend to forget is that we should be out there hunting kind of frequently, maybe butchering a muffalo, maybe even taking out this wild muffalo as well. That certainly couldn't hurt. Now, I have installed the new version of the allow tool that's 1.1. I've installed the no job authors mod, which makes it so that when you start a job, another person can take over, assuming they've got the same skills as the first person. So if we're making a prosthetic leg requires 14 crafting, if... Our, whoever it is, Jacob, for example, is starting in this situation. Omega would be able to come in and help out if she had nothing else to do. That's kind of cool because it avoids, say, half finishing a prosthetic, getting shot, and then having to just cancel it and losing the resources, etc., etc. It's generally something I've thrown into all my mods as well because it means people can help each other out a little bit more, which is quite nice. Um, I also installed... There was another mod, mod as well, but I can't remember what it was off the top of my head. Let me just go and check the Steam Workshop again. I'll let you guys know what exactly I went for. Um, oh, better workbench bench management. How could I forget, seeing as I complained about that yesterday? So we can now link our jobs. I can copy and paste entire bills and paste them over um, and obviously adjust them all for one bench as well. More importantly, we can eat stuff straight on the floor, which is going to save us a lot of time. Pickup and haul has been updated, which means we can actually actively pick stuff up into our inventory and move it around actively rather than relying on the AI to do it. And the final other thing was research pal. That was it. So now we can queue up a load of research. I really love research pal. It's my favorite of the, all the research mods. Very cool. More importantly, it means that if we want to see what we'll unlock with things, we don't have to get the prerequisite research. So piano, for example, might be quite nice. Um, what do we want to go for next in terms of research? Because we don't actually have anything right now. We can go for Devil Strand to maybe prioritize some of that. I saw a comment that actually said that clothes really aren't worth prioritizing certain clothes over the other because they all give even the mightiest sort of thrombo fur duster gives only a slight increase over a cloth duster for example but obviously you're paying a ridiculous amount for the resource and whatever else i honestly want to get flak armor done next i think that's a great idea um apparently turrets are also heavily nerfed you guys were saying in the comment section yesterday too although chain shotguns would be quite nice i think we'll do that Flak armor, blowback operation, gas operation for chain shotguns, get our weapons and armor upgraded. That's going to keep our guys a lot longer. Now, apparently the armor that we gave to Omega yesterday didn't affect her mood either. That was another thing I was asked to check by the comment section. She's fine wearing that. She doesn't really care that it doesn't really fit the rest of her royal aesthetic, inverted commas. All right, cool then. So everyone's going to be in quite a good mood for a while. Gives us a little bit more time on our side while we finish off the last of these buildings here. I've also put back, I think I talked about this briefly at the end of the last episode, because I did it at the end of the last episode. I've given them back their jobs for the time being so that we can finish all of this crap off and basically get back on top of their mood. Uh, what's everyone doing right now? It's got Newton Omega are researching. They are blitzing through that. Look at them go. My God. And how's his research going? He's already up to 12, almost 13 points of intellectual there. I do think that was absolutely the right idea. Green Empire, we've gained 25 more opinion with them, so they are slowly becoming closer to, closer to allies. Somebody told me as well over Discord that what we can do is on the quest tab, you can disable the accept royal favor. And instead, Instead, they will, as it says, offer other types of rewards. More importantly, they'll offer you opinion with the faction, which means we could potentially just get them over to allies. That way, we wouldn't have to rely on this thing. Now, someone said as well, sorry to keep going back to the comment section here, but, you know, I, I guess it's only a good thing, really. Um, somebody said that if we, uh, that, that obviously I should be prioritizing getting other people up to uh, skills where they're permitted to use psychic powers, because that way it gives us a bit more variation to use in raids. We can have loads of people firing out psychic abilities, etc., would it also let us call in different types of royal aid? Would it go and give different cooldown? Let's say, for example, we also got uh, Jacob up to the rank of Yeoman. Would he also be able to call in royal aid independent of Omegas? If anyone knows that for definite, please let me know. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what the comment was implying. But I would like to know for definite before we start spreading our... Because, of course, the downside to that is, of course, we're spreading our royal ranks around characters. And that's lowering the work that everybody has access to here. Our... Batteries exploded, but it didn't really do much of a fire there. That's quite good. Psychic Soothers ending. Doesn't matter. It's only expected the females in the colony anyway who are already in an incredibly good mood. So we're fine. Cargo pods. What have we got? Uh, show me. 
Oh, I thought I was, I was like, oh, a gun. No, that's the biocoded assault rifle that somebody dropped yesterday. Um, 24 nutrient paste meals. Oh, she <laughs> shouldn't have. Thank you. Uh, one thing I meant to build, but I actually canceled it so that we could use the steel on something else. I don't remember what it was, but it was quite essential. I want to build a electric smelter so that we can get a lot of this crap smelter down. We got a lot of spare weapons, a lot of spare gear. We could smelt that down, get the resource out of it, spend that on something else. Technically lower the colony wealth too. Because we're destroying items, replacing it with the raw items, which will have less than the crafted value. Well, depending on what you've actually crafted it into there. But more importantly, we can then expend it on some other stuff as well. Again, lowering the market but value of the colony overall. Oh god, the hiccups are setting in. Okay, Rib, let's give you a prosthetic leg immediately, seeing that she's in bed for an infection from that last battle that we fought in. Um, we might as well capitalize on this time that you're better in any way to install this leg. So what are you missing? Right leg is shot off. And then we'll try and go for some of those more advanced prosthetics later on. Did we actually finish that? Right, we need the fabrication bench to actually build it, don't we? Please succeed. 10 out of 10. Incredible. Okay, cool. So Rib is going to be back to like 75%. Is it 50% efficiency on those? Oh, 85%. Wow. I thought they were a lot, lot worse than that. Oh, there we are. All the cotton's coming in now. How much we got? That's quite a lot, actually. 460. Is that going to be enough to finish in here? I certainly goddamn hope so. It's 35 each, and we've still got another... No. No. I can do math, so that's, that's nowhere near enough. My god, we do need to buy some more from the next trader that turns up. But hey, we're getting closer and closer. We need a dedicated cleaner, because this base is actually horrendous. Um, Penguin, what are you doing right now? Butchering and then growing? Uh, I'm going to put that to priority two, then. I'd put that to priority two. Because honestly, this base is a complete dump. Uh, and let's go... Area 1 was our cleaning area, was it not? Did I not actually set up a cleaning area? Okay, let's manage areas. Let's rename that one to something a bit more monetizer-friendly. Um, cleaning area. And then we'll stick that down over the top of... Maybe I actually didn't then. Wow, that's insane. Um, right, okay, hang on. It might be just better to make a fresh one. Let's invert that, and then let's clear the allowed area. Um... Oh, right. Oh, I remember why I put that down. I put it over the mechanoid layer so that we wouldn't accidentally run into the turrets a few episodes ago. Right, so let's turn that into cleaning area instead. So I want this room and obviously this room to be cleaned as highest priority. Hospital should also be cleaned. Don't really care about the prison too much. We could probably do that manually. Um, throne room? Again, I'm not entirely sure if the throne room really matters. We got a bedroom there and then the kitchen. Everything else couldn't give less of a shit about. Could not give less of I, I mean, I probably should, but it doesn't matter too much. So let's set that to... Uh, what do they call it? Cleaning area. That makes a lot of sense. What are these other areas, by the way? Area 1 is where animals are allowed. Alpha Beaver was originally where the Alpha Beaver was, was housed for its safety. Right, there we are. Um, maybe we should expand the animal area a little bit, just to, just to give them as much land as possible to graze on. Even though they should have more than enough food with all of our hay, we'll, we'll, we might as well expand and capitalize on most of this crap over here as well. Kuya's cash of supplies. What have we got then? Uh, Chief of the Treaty of Zatro is involved in a collection of valuables not far from us. May be an unknown threat, but it does have 108 gold. Not far from us, they say, on the other side of the goddamn planet. No. What are you talking about, not far from us, you weird man? Black armor is done. Fantastic. Um, maybe we should go for some devil strength. You, you have to make flak armor. You have to forgive me here, because I don't think I've ever once done it in Rimod. You have to make flak armor. How do you even make flak armor? Uh... I've absolutely no clue. Um, right, flak armor. Let's take a look then. Where do I craft these? Um, where do you craft these? It's obviously not the tailor bench, although that would make the most sense. It's not like that machining machining table. What are you talking about? Thirty cloth. Oh, so it just requires cloth. I was gonna say, should we make some? Should we get some devil strand? Um, specifically to be able to make that, but I guess not. Okay, flak armor, flat pants is just more cloth, steel component. Yeah, we can afford that, and obviously flat jacket would be incredible to give to everybody along with the flat pants, the flat vest, the flak helmet. I want to make sure our guys are gonna live. River reach level 19 in construction. Absolutely fantastic. Only a few more squares, and this room is going to be pure luxury as well. Blowback operation is done. They are blitzing through the research between these two. 13.26, 19.37 with Omega. I've got hay to last them so goddamn long. Um, we will start butchering those buffalo at some stage as well instead. That's a, that's a great plan. Look, look at the moons, though. Red, green, like, like uh, ultimate mood, ultimate mood, mid greens there too. I hate that it goes... Like, like kind of a kind of a, a, a pale green to blue to proper green. It seems a bit odd. Trev is going to try and escape. Trev, you're a foolish man. Trev, you're a foolish man if you think you are going to escape. There is no escape. No recaller intervention will work in this place. Um, just open fire. Just put that man down. Brilliant. 
Absolutely fantastic prison break there from Trev. Honestly, I mean, you've got to give, go give the man props there. At least he did try. Um, that's what prioritized tending to him. Go on, then. We'd love to get this guy recruited as well, because he does have the double passion and construction. That would help rip out a little bit with uh, all of the various stuff we've got going. Obviously, another stone cuss would be fantastic. Good in medical, good at melee and shooting. Oh, look, across the board, he's got some really interesting skill spread. So... We could kind of take him into multiple stuff. That way, if someone dies, we've got a guy kind of on backup there ready to go. All right, then. Um, gas operation is going to be done in no time. This this research was a good idea. So, mega screen televisions actually give the most uh, recreation. It's like 1.6 versus 1.3 with flat screen. But flat screen are up there along with being the best. Now, we are missing kind of some recreation variety there. Oh, we could build auto cannon turrets. Ooh, that'd be nice. Um, what else do we need to get that? Just gun turrets as well? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it just so that we can try and... Offload some of the necessary combat that our people are very much lacking right now. We've got Hall urgently back. Oh, thank God I've missed it so much. It's going to make such a difference. Holy shit. Is there anything else that it adds as well? Um, as far as I recall, that's basically it. Oh my God, that's going to be a complete life changer. Wow. i completely forgotten that that was even a thing, to be honest with you. Oh, what's wrong with you? How can you be starting a fight? I hate the fact that they would just start fires for the fun of it, despite the fact that he is in the best mood he could possibly be in right now. That's really, really frustrating. That's unreal. Well, at least he's lighting fire to rice that really makes absolutely no difference to our to our life whatsoever. Unreal. Well, it's going to keep his mood extremely high as well. Oh, does that not count as catharsis? Oh, that's annoying. 41 lavish meals. We've got five out of seven of our colonists in green mood. Yoko is going to be more difficult. Tortured artist, but also is going to be an, in an incredibly good mood as well. And slightly environment. What's wrong with you? What the fuck are you talking about? Unsightly environment. You're in a really nice bedroom. 1.1. Oh, terribly unsightly. Are you going to be all right there? How are you even going to manage? Oh, is it going to hit green across the board? Oh, Yoko, you let us down again, you coward. Cold snap. Oh, no. Uh, right, heaters on then. Let's do it. Let's turn those off. Heating on. Um, that's venting through into there. That one's obviously closed off. Let's close that vent and that vent and that vent. Those are obviously from the blueprint. I didn't actively build those. Let's get another heater in there for this guy's dedicated bedroom. And then... Is that going to be enough, do we think? We need to vent through there and there. Um, and let's also do a proper vent through there as well. Okay, a lot of work to do here to make sure this cold snap doesn't kill us dead. Auto cannon turrets are also done. You guys are blitzing through this. Right, next on that then. Um, honestly, deep drilling certainly wouldn't hurt. Uranium slug turret. That'd be kind of fun. Uh... What am I looking for? Shield belts? Obviously, we don't necessarily need those, to be honest with you. Geothermal power. All things considered, given that we're getting a lot more technical, technical now with a lot of our buildings, fabrication bench, we've got a lot of geothermal vents available to tap into. We've got, on the map, we've got roughly five of them. One, two of them are within our base's borders. Two more are slightly outside and would be very easy to contain within our base's borders as well. And then the other one is obviously buried by that meteor there. Yeah, I, I think that would actually work quite well. Uh, maybe we should harvest these in hindsight. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the, get the, get the cloth. Get the cloth. Get the, get the cotton. Harvest, and then let's get the last of it as well. All right, there we go. Harvest the lot, please. Go, go, go. Thank you. Please wake up. Help me. Uh, all of you. Actually, we could just set all of them to harvest, can't we? Go. Fly. Please. Okay, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. There's more than I thought we'd get. Let's put it that way. Okay, and now these ones too, if you don't mind. Good work, good work, good work. Thank you, penguin. Oh, everyone's house has gone to bed. Oh, that's okay. 400, 500. That might genuinely be enough just to finish off the living room there. Ooh, and I don't know if you noticed that the power did fluctuate a tad. So we've got to be a bit careful. Oh my god, we still have enough components for this. Wow. We've got inspired trade though. So fingers crossed we will get a... There's no merchants flying around already, is there? That's a real shame. We could really, really do with any sort of trading caravan, expedition, whatever right now to be able to offload some of this crap we've picked up too. Let's also go ahead and reinstall this into here. Um, that's probably the best area for it. I'm trying to make this slightly larger as well because we didn't have enough room for everything. Oh, through Muffalo, I've got the plague. Wow. Work frenzy. Hey, nice work. Okay, cool. Uh, what are you doing right now? Resting? On work schedule? Why? What? What? Why? <laughs> I mean, it is recreation now, but that definitely said work. You guys saw it. Let's put you on mining too then. Um, to be honest, everybody should have a point in mining to some extent. He's got a work frenzy. I might just go like that. He's in a great mood. Let's keep him. Let's keep him up a little bit. So come and. What are you doing? Why aren't you? Why aren't you helping out here, Chief? Oh, good trader. Oh, you could not turn up at a more perfect time. Right. What quests, if any, do we want to accept right now? So the cash and supplies, absolutely ridiculous. Get out of here. Um, that trade is still possible. Um, 
180 plasteel, though. They'll give us a psychic emanator, which would be fantastic. Um, and 395 silver. So it's basically pl trading plasteel for a psychic emanator. It would be nice, but we don't really need to worry about mood right now. And that's all we've got active. Um, I'd really like to do it, but I don't think we've got enough plasteel, have we? We've got 142. If we get another mechanoid intrusion before it ends, we should be able to cover that. Manic Interstellar. Let's see what they've got for us. Uh, a load of Yorkshire Terriers. Great. <laughs> um, do you want to buy a Muffalo? Hey, you want to buy a Muffalo? Uh, 80, 80 apiece? Maybe not. Maybe we should let them grow before I sell them off, huh? Muffalo male. How many males we got? We got one that's nine, one that's ten. Um, let's sell that one. Basically, it's all we've got to trade right now, so you'll have to bear with me here. We need as many components as they can as they can give us, to be honest. We are so sorely lacking on components right now, it's not even funny. Um, Muffalo Wolf, don't want it. Get rid of it. Give me your cloth in exchange. Thank you. Don't need any of this crap, so you guys can have all of it. Oh, look at this. This is insane. Um, wow. The, who would have thought that the Muffalo fur industry would be so good? 30 medicine. They still owe us 2k. Fair enough. Um, buy some steel. Damn, we actually could. We could buy, like, 1,000 steel. We could buy the plasteel that we need to finish off that mission. Hmm. That's a, that's, a, that's a tempting offer. Okay, let's see if we can do that, then. Let's sell all this extra crap that we've apparently stripped or got from people. God knows how we've got that. Um, cloth t-shirts we don't want. Parkers, war veils. None of that's too relevant. Thank you. Royal vest and a blue fur ladies hat. So, we owe them 1,000. That's after buying a boatload of steel and plasteel as well. Um... Sell them some chem fuel. We are building explosive shells, but that's all we're doing with chem fuel right now. We can make some generators instead. Seems like a waste of chem fuel. I hate to waste chem fuel with, with things like that. Um, I guess it's not a waste if it's keeping the lights on. We could just wait for the geothermal generators, which again, we can't really afford because we don't have the steel for it. Um, oh God, I don't know what to trade with you, my friends. 840 steel is what we can buy maximum. Where do they drop those off? Uh, somewhere, somewhere over there. So that's 460 more cloth. That's a definitely, definitely enough to finish the last of this. Bear in mind that these all, besides that, which we can't get to. So I'll just cancel that one. And under the chest set as well. Nice. Good work. And we've got some spare cloth for building our flat vests, flat jackets, everything else. More importantly, geothermal generators. We can repair the wind turbine. And the biggest thing of all is we can finish off the fabrication bench. Rib, I might prioritize the components. What the hell are you talking about? What the hell is even that? We need another one. Oh, no. You wouldn't, you wouldn't do me like this. Uh, is there a single component on the map anywhere? Please. Please, God, no. We need one more component? Are you kidding me? Ah. Um, I'm well aware that that cougar is not a component. I was just looking at it to see. You can't, can you dismantle these for components? It might be worth it. Dismantle a wind turbine for components and then maybe we should dismantle the cooler in the... We need two, don't we? And it gives three. Will it give that? It will give back... Maybe it will give back too. I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know the, the return rate on it. I thought it was 50%, and I'm not sure because it uses three to build it. I assume it's rounded down. Ooh, I don't know. Um, oh, we've also got that turned on, so let's uh, go ahead and just maybe maybe toggle that off there, Chief, before Yoko freezes to death. Um, speaking of which, LeBlanc, do you want a bedroom in here instead? Where it's actually somewhat significantly warmer. Here, let's swap my guy out to here. We got two from it. Very nice. Was that all that we needed? Oh, it was? Oh, thank God for that. Holy shit. I was actually tempted to dismantle this as well because we need the components to repair it. And obviously, it's not doing anything right now. Uh, shit, that's fucking great. Oh, my God. There are some loud assholes outside. Make components forever. Okay. 864. How much do we need for a geothermal generator again? Oh, we, don't have, we haven't finished that yet. Did I even... Oh, yeah, right. It's right at the end of the list. Okay, fair enough. In that case, we'll put down a chem fuel power generator. No components. <laughs> um, okay. Well, let's just put one in here, then. Just put one in here. Right there. And then... So, it's 100 steel, 3 components. Let's just make 3 components to start off with, yeah? Do until we've got X, where X is 5. That's a better idea. Jacob, did you seriously mine out all of that? I asked him to mine all that shit out, and he actually did it? Oh, my God. We need a crafting skill for components. Oh, yikes. I want his trainer to be our crafter, but actually, it's only Omega that can do it. Uh, okay, fine. We'll put her on fabrication. Take him off, then. Ah, that's a bit frustrating. Fine. Go and get that done. I'll put it on the highest priority, and as long as we're careful with the actual bill, 
usage, it shouldn't be too bad. The one we've made so far, we've repaired that. That's keeping the lights on, which is all that matters. There we are. We're really ticking up now. Omega, I'm going to keep you awake just to finish those off, if you don't mind, my friend. My god, it's actually finished. It's taken us days to do it, but it is actually finally done. Right, so let's go for a marble throne. Marble braziers. I had to check what resources we actually had available to finish this off. I think that's all we need, isn't it? Just like a throne. I don't even need a throne, to be honest with you. I think we just need a couple of braziers there. Um, I hope I've done this right. For God's sake, I really do. Let's just get it finished right now. Let's do it right now while everyone's in a good mood and just get this finished. So get this out of here. What the hell are you guys doing? Oh, oh, oh turn the smelter on. I don't know why that's turned off for a start. Um, why is that turned off? I do. I wouldn't have turned that off. Okay. Um, also, fell asleep trying to put those. Okay. Smell battles from slag. Do forever. Weapons. Uh, I'm gonna have to be a bit more specific about that, aren't I? So, bio-coded weapons. Yeah, I don't care about that. Um, so always, here's what we do then. So, clear all. Allow bio-coded weapons everything. Because we can't use a lot of bio-coded weapons. Uh, in fact, I'm not even sure you can bio-code. It's your own call list, can you? So, let's just go ahead and mount all those down. Then we'll make another one. Do forever. Copy the bill. Paste it back in. And then let's change that to non-bio-coded weapons. We want to say any basic melee is fine. So, let's untick that. Um, mono sword, plasma spore, sword, the Zeus Warhammer is fine. We'll smelt the rest down. If they are below, like, awful to good. So this is just smelting down crappier weapons. Obviously, we, we, we are fine with that one. Um, keep assault rifles, get rid of those. Oh, so sorry, keep those. Get rid of auto pistols, bolt action rifles, chain shotguns, keep. That one, keep. That one, obviously, keep. Doomsday, EMG, EMP, sorry. Heavy SMG, Yes, we will keep those. LMGs, machine pistols, smelt them down. Minigun, keep. Pump shotgun, smelt them down. Uh, oh, shit, I'm doing this backwards now, you fool. Right, uh, do that one. Uh, get rid of those. Get rid of revolvers. Smoke launcher, we'll keep. Sniper, we'll keep. That's fine. Okay, so I need to untick those as well. That's, that's like a bit of mental distance going there. I'm telling them we should keep them and then unticking them, which is a little bit confusing. Right, there we are. So that's what we're smelting down. And that's only if they're below a certain, certain quality. Maybe we should just smelt them all. Fuck it. I was going to say we could sell them, but to be honest with you, I feel like the resources are just so much more practical right now. Um, sure, let's just do that. Why not? Smell down all the crap and then keep the rest. So, oh, I've done that backwards, you fool. Oh, God, hang on. This is, <laughs> this is like, like I said, so much mental dissonance doing it one, one way around the other. So, untick the ones we want to keep there, genius. So, want to keep those. So they've still got psychic ships. I assumed that it would only ever be those intrusions. I thought the intrusions were a replacement for psychic ships. We can still get them. They've got charge lances. And what are those things called? Needle guns. Um, does less damage than charge weapons, but it is more... Okay, so over a long range, those guys are going to be way more lethal. I think we know what we've got to do here, right? So everyone squad up. Get into position. Except for our worst shot, which is Newt. Three, yeah, okay. You stay on the mortar. Bearing in mind the, the information you guys told me yesterday. And just fucking shout the shit out of them. Wake these boys up. How are you missing? Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Boom. Right on target. Incredible shot. Are they... Are they heading over? They're not actually heading over. But st uh, I guess they've changed it from last time. So, it used to be if you dealt any amount of damage to the psychic ship, they'd attack. But now they're just not bothered. Um, okay. In that case, keep firing, I guess, Chief. Don't stop. Oh, excuse me. I said don't stop. What are you doing? What's he, what is he doing? Oh, it's just got such a long bloody cooldown on it. Oh, there we are. Wow. Okay, that's got him to... That's, that's woken up a little bit. Um, take some pot shots, I would say, at the mechanoids as they come over. Also, what do we want to do with it? What do we want to do with this guy? I'm thinking we put him like there or maybe even there. New, you know what? You actually might be more practical down here, honestly. Just just throwing out some, some shots. I don't know where to put this guy to make best use of him, to be honest. Um, they're like right there. Then he can hit them on the diagonal. They won't shoot from there either, will they? The only thing I'm worried about now is friendly fire. Yeah, okay. So he's immediately been hit by... Oh, it's a bruise. That's a bruise. That's okay. That's part and parcel of the combat experience. Nice one down. Pull back. Here comes the next one. Get in there. Stab him. Stab him. Oh, God. They're all just running through. Uh, Distract that one. Get in there. Get in there. Good work, good work, good work. They've stopped for reasons unbeknownst to me. Oh, there we are. They're coming back again. Oh, God. Please don't shoot my man. Don't shoot him. He's a friend. Oh, God. It's a really good job they missed that one. We might need to retreat him in a second. He's taking a lot of hits. It's a lot of bruises and cracks, but to be honest, the actual damage he's taken isn't particularly devastating. 
These guys are really weak to melee, according to the comment section. So I'm going to trust you on this one. I'm going to trust you here. Oh, please don't shoot my man anymore. He's had such a beating. We might need to pull him out because he might just drop down dead if we're not careful. Get back. Don't let those charges be able to shoot us. Okay, now he's useless. So get him out of there because they're just going to stay there now. Now we've just got to pray the AI rolls badly, gets unlucky, and doesn't kill any of our guys instantly. That's all we can ask for at this stage. We've got to hope the cover is enough. Keep firing. Oh, come on. Okay, well, we've, we've accidentally given them a bit, uh, our, our people a bit more room. Remember, those things aren't as devastating, so I'm not too bothered about that. Good work, good work, good work. Good work. Oh, incredible stuff. He can shoot us from there? Nah. Against the rules. Pull back. Let's just stand here. Let's stand here and wait for him to come around the corner and just, just pummel him. Just absolutely pummel the fuck. You need to go back and get yourself healed up. Omega, I'm going to send you back to actually heal him up as well. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. Hello. How are you? Uh, it's us again. Just thought we'd bait you out a little bit there. Oh, don't shoot Yoko. Yoko's been through enough. Good work. Did you lose anything? Right arm's been shot. Oh, for fuck's sake, not another arm. Right. That's going to be a lot of stuff for us there. That's going to be a huge amount of very, very useful... I mean, even the steel slag, to some extent, is going to be a lot more useful resources. Let's get all of this shit hoard urgently. Very, very good. Lancers, to take those guys apart, get a shitload of uh, plasteel out of that as well. That was overall just an incredible time. Right, Prioto's tending to him. Actually, we should really tend to Yoko first, shouldn't we? More of a risk of an infection. Although, Yoko is fucking useless. So, if she were to die... Not too bothered. 100% quality though. Wow. There's a lot of yaks, but I actually can't see where they produce milk. Uh, Plain leather. Yeah, great. I don't even think yaks do anything, do they? They seriously don't produce milk? They don't produce anything? I mean, normally it would say like here, right? Hang on, let's go back to a muffalo. Hello, Mr. Muffalo friend. Uh, Wool growth 30%. Yeah, right. So it would say... Just below their... Maybe maybe we can't see it because they're not tamed? I don't know. Am I looking... Uh, health? Hang on. Permanent gunshot injury. <laughs> right eye. Okay, I won't ask. Uh, yeah, I don't think they produce any type of milk. This robust bulky... Oh, that's also a... Y <laughs> that is also a male yak. Boy, this milk tastes funny. Um, what about you? Female yak still, still do nothing. I guess we could eat them. Um... The only reason I, I was taking a look at that because a bunch of boomlots rounded into the map and then I saw, oh, some yaks. I've never seen those before. Apparently don't do anything. We could just kill them and eat them. America. Abbey over the pond. Tribes people. That's, that's good news. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Wow. Um, how many are we looking at then? Eight on that side. Ten on that side. Versus seven people. I almost feel a little bit like this isn't fair. But that's okay. Sometimes not everything in life is fair. In fact, we're playing on Merciless. So what the hell do you expect, you silly fool? Kill them all. Where did you just fire that? Where did you just fire that? Oh, at them. Well, that was more than I was expecting. Okay, go for it. Come on, kill them. Kill them all. Terrible shot. Come on, do it again. They're beginning their assault. Okay, lead the shots on the first, on the, on the forerunner. Oh, I thought that one, that one looked really promising there for a second, and he still fucked it. All right, I'll let him get one more shot off, and then we're then we're gonna have to then we're gonna have to pull back. Or I'll send him to. Oh, he's not gonna get time. Newt, just join us on the front line here, my friend. Thank you for the effort, but it was a little bit, it was a little bit poor. You tried. That's all I can really ask for. Oh, that's a lot of them. Holy shit. Ah, they're all stuck on the rocks. It's worked perfectly. Um, okay, I'm just gonna get you out of there because I feel like this is kind of a waste of time a little bit. Um, really? Oh, really? Uh, here, 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 here. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Drop that. Drop that. Drop it. Rib, equip. Newt, swap to that one. Rib's got the flak vest. And also much better shooting. Probably a lot more effective with it. Great, great shot. That's what we're after right there. Great shot, kid. One in a million. Please watch my... Please watch my kill box. My wife, she's very sick. Please do not break her kill box. Thank you. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we are. here we are. Right. He's at the front, ready to kill a bitch when they get too close. Oh, you fool. What were you thinking there? Beer. Hey, recreation. That's fantastic. All right, that one's down. This is probably going to be a fairly easy raid. I don't want to I don't want to jinx myself, but I feel like it, we'd have to fuck something up royally to, to really screw this one. Okay, come on, come on. Let's, let's put the speed up a little bit. 
I feel like we can probably just about manage it, huh? Come on, fist fight him. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't like this, don't like this, don't like this. Stop that. Get out of here. Kill him dead. Fantastic. Why have you stopped? To oh, they're fleeing. That's why. I was like, what the hell have you stopped attacking for, you fool? Are we taking no damage from that besides Newt, who had to deal with that other fucker? Wow, good work. And then we've got the other group, which are taking a long time to actually get over here. I'm just going to go speed two. This is painfully slow. Newt's going on insulting Rampage. Yeah, insult the guy on the Vanguard. That's always a solid plan. Let's fucking punch him. Just seriously, I was going to hit that man, but there's no unfortunate melee attack button or no option to use our fists because of course we're not playing with simple sidearms. I should have just beat that man over the head. How dare you? Boom. Allow all things. Oh, I've missed that mod a lot. Right, we've got Trout and we've got uh, Tasker. 14.48 artistic. And then we've also got this guy, Trout. Good animal skill. Good artistic. We don't need any more artists, thank you. Good melee, good shooting. That's the thing that we're really looking for right there. You are going to get stripped. Who's who's the closest? Uh, you're wearing plate armor, though. Okay, bring back Penguin. Penguin, strip this person. Steal their clothes. Oh, there's also Sam. Samantha Sam Haxton. Very good. Wow, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, capture. Not that I'm biased. You capture that one. Brilliant. Well done, team. Okay, this is good news. It's good news. Omega, what are you doing right now? Is it tending to our people? Yes. Yeah, yeah. good, good, good. And we tend to Boomalope. Actual components. This is a game changer. Only two, though, from all those mechanoids. This is a random chance. I had no idea that it was a variable output. Okay, there we are. Um, what are we building there? Unfinished component. Again, all through set to everyone, so anybody can set that over if they get enough skill. Very cool. A bug hive. I feel like we're not supposed to know that. <laughs> <laughs> there may be bugs in that there, there, them there hills, so we'll be very careful about, uh, about what we do about that. Um, I've set the yaks to hunt, so we'll just get some food out of those guys eventually. That was pretty good. Medical emergency is just trout, who's probably got, yeah, blood loss. That doesn't matter too much. I and allow the prison to be cleaned. We might as well, because it's going to add to infection chance, things like that if we don't. Perfect. The perfect throne room for Omega, who now has just an insanely good mood. So it says on it, when we click on it there, uh, appropriate title for Dame. Next satisfied title is Praetor. Um... Dame is the equivalent tier of Sir. If you want some <laughs> if you want some interesting knowledge there. Uh, but what does that actually mean for us though? Uh excuse me. Uh Esquire. So Esquire's gotta come before Oh, there we are. So you've actually got a, a throne room big enough for Knight slash Dame. Um very good. Okay. Six royal favour. And then eight royal favour is the next one. So twenty one total. Praetor. How far off are we from Praetor then? Sixty impressiveness would be ninety. So I guess we'd need more braziers, some other stuff in there that makes it look a bit more impressive. Okay. What did we make a second arm? Was, was there a reason I did that? Uh, heads, right arm, old gunshot, 85% efficiency. Replacing that out for a prosthetic arm will make no difference. So we've got one spare. I should probably make a, a spare prosthetic leg as well or something like that. How are these rooms looking? We'll let Penguin do a bit of cleaning in a minute. He's got a lot of uh, food to cook first. We've got so much meat from all the hunting we've been doing. And that's all just going into lavish meals as well. I already missed the fridge mod. I really do genuinely miss the fridge mod quite a lot. What would you guys think about me installing that? Because it's a great mod. It's a great mod and I miss it a huge amount. Because it just adds a very tiny little thing that just makes so much sense. Rather than going to a massive meat cooler to get your meals, you can just get it from the same room you're in. Squirrel Revenge. I was not expecting that. Of all the animals I set to hunt, that was not the one I was expecting to go in Revenge. <gasps> that one was the one I was expecting to go into Revenge. LeBlanc. Fist fighting a yak. Only could LeBlanc pull it off. Get out of there. Everyone else, squad. Shit. <laughs> um, okay, go, 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 go. Run. Run, little LeBlanc. Okay, 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 we're good. Oh, look at this. This is this is how you hunt. Oh, there we are. The other one just bled out. Okay, fantastic. Great work. <laughs> you have no power here. Look at how happy everyone is. You think you're the shitty little psychic drone will stop us? You're a fool. You're a foolish madman. Newt, mental state, binging on Ambrosia actually sitting at a table uh what is it what is he oh now he's going for it oh there we are okay can you not i mean it doesn't really matter it's only ambrosia it's not like it's luciferium or you know flake or anything like that it also occurs to me as well uh newton leblanc is supposed to be sharing a bed aren't they i completely forgot about that <sighs> so here's what i've just discovered the game does not pause if you have a menu open and I had it set to speed 3, and apparently also didn't pause when they are attacking our animals. So now, we've got two prisoners out there. This guy got downed. Uh, and I couldn't stop it, because I was like, oh, I better assign these. And then it came up with a prison break, and I was like, why the fuck is it not pausing? Spamming the bloody space bar. Fucking game. Right, okay. Get out of it. 
kill them both. I don't care. You kill my boomalopes, you die. Obviously, they haven't killed any yet. Just, just take them down. Take them down. Oh, the boomalopes are actually kicking their ass. That's, that's hilarious. You deserve that. Kill him. Good. That's very cathartic. You can see that that bug hive that's inside this cave is going to build up and build up and build up. And then eventually they are going to break through the rocks. And then it's just going to be a swarm of bugs erupting from the mountain. They're coming out of the goddamn walls, man. That's going to be uh, that's gonna be a fun time. I look forward to seeing when that happens. Because I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in Remod. Normally the infestations we get are basically it. I very rarely play with caves on the map or anything like that. I'm pretty sure it wasn't advertised as having caves on the map. Like natural bug hives or anything. Maybe that's a feature of 1.1. Surprise bug hives. And then finally for today. Hosting aristocrats. Uh, Storius Corticos, a duke of the Green Empire, wants to stay at us. Uh, with one core ally, you're required to keep his mood above 26%. After 20 days, they will collect him. If we succeed, we gain six royal favor, which is quite significant. Um, so that is essentially this one, but uh, this one. It's like, like less. Uh, you need a free bedroom that satisfies the title requirements. We need a royal bedroom, is what you're saying. We could attach it onto the throne room. Make it quite large as well. Do something like that. I think that could work. I don't know what the hell you mean for the rest. Of it. I don't know what we actually require. But hey, I'm sure we can I'm sure we can work it out. Leave it there for today. Today has been incredibly successful. We've got a fabrication bench online. We've got a shitload of components. We defeated mechanoids. We defeated raiders and sieges and used mortars to take out psychic shipsies. It's been a great day. It's been an absolute fantastic day for the colony. And more importantly, it's been a great day to bring content to you at home. Thank you all for watching let's give a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons without which this series would not be possible in the first place a big thank you goes out to average gamer 419 ben hofflin necrophil and asana Kirito, alchemia varagon tyler kendall limpy george pelvis presley vacuous backer zetlock atmosis tyler mcclam and dko for their support the insane tier levels on patreon big shout out to you guys thank you for your support and thank you to everyone else over there as well and a shout out continues to justin rules Night Rouge, Silent Sentinel, Hupalia, Hunlord, Alex Bogard, Nick, Sweetsey, Asro, Boy Prince Kibo, Tony L, Castello J, Meow Volcano, Corgi Circus, and Hook Comrade, and everyone else over at Patreon as well. Big shout out to you guys. Thank you all for making the channel possible. See you all tomorrow for maybe hosting a royal guest for 40 days. It seems like a horrible idea.